While Resident Evil 7 is still a couple of months away, we're getting a ton of new information about the game seemingly every week. We have of course seen the new trailers that are being released on the web often, showing different features and the scares the game promises to bring. Now, a new ambassador meeting has given us even more information thanks to Twitter user Alex Aniel. He was one of those invited to this ambassador meeting and he shared a bit of what he learned online. The first tidbit is that he believes the PS4 Pro version of Final Fantasy XV looks really, really incredible. Now they're showing hashtag RE7 running in PS4 Pro 4K. Detail is amazing. No photos allowed though, Aniel posted. The other little tidbit the Twitter user divulged was that the game was about 90% done. While that shouldn't come as a shock, it is good news when talking about worries about a delay. Resident Evil 7 is due out on the PS4, Xbox One, and PC on January 24th, 2017. Rockstar are the masters of marketing. They know how to get attention for their games from the biggest possible audience. So it didn't come as much of a surprise to most of us when a trailer for Red Dead Redemption 2, the reveal trailer for the game actually, aired during the football game between the Arizona Cardinals and the Seattle Seahawks on Sunday. But that little maneuver cost Rockstar a pretty penny, it sounds like. According to Advertising Age, the cost for a 30-second spot during Sunday Night Football averages $717,375 which means that the Red Dead Redemption 2 trailer, which actually comes in at over a minute, but which may have been trimmed a little bit for TV, likely cost Rockstar at least $1.4 million. Of course, Rockstar probably made that money back in a couple of seconds, thanks to the continuing success of GTA Online. Small wonder it is then that Red Dead Online is slated to be such a major part of the upcoming Red Dead Redemption 2. Red Dead Redemption 2 is due out in fall 2017 on the Xbox One and PS4. The Last Guardian has spent almost a decade in development, and six years in the public eye since its announcement at E3 in 2009. It suffered multiple delays, switched systems at least once, and at one point, no one was sure the game would ever be launching. But now, it looks like the long, arduous journey may be at an end at last. Posting on his Twitter account, Sony Worldwide Studios head Shuhei Yoshida confirmed that at long last, The Last Guardian had finally gone gold. I've waited a very long time to say this. The Last Guardian has gone gold. I'm so excited for you all to finally experience it, Yoshida said. The Last Guardian will launch exclusively on the PlayStation 4 later this year on December 7th. Whether or not the game manages to live up to all the hype and attention that it's received, well, that's something that remains to be seen. The PlayStation 4 Pro will technically be the first 4K console when it launches on November 10th, while the PlayStation VR is the first console-based VR solution. But both of them, and especially the PS4 Pro, are half-step solutions that use a variety of tricks and shortcuts to make up for some very obvious technical deficiencies and shortcomings. This, according to Microsoft, will not be a problem with the Xbox One Scorpio, their new console that launches in holiday 2017, and which promises to be the strongest, most powerful console ever. According to Microsoft, the Scorpio will be the only console capable of true 4K and high-fidelity VR, which technically isn't untrue, but is still being a tad unfair to especially how great the PlayStation VR is, we feel. The Xbox One Scorpio is due out next year in the holiday season. The console will come with a 6 teraflops GPU and will maintain full intercompatibility with the existing Xbox One and Xbox One S. Like this video? Why not give us a like and subscribe? We try and upload amazing videos almost every single day. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.